actual news aid. Would be, uh, they, left, uh, they left me with a huge hole in my heart. Tonight, the family of double murder victims pleading with the public for help. Investigators need that help from the public to blow the case wide open. Good evening. I'm Erin Clark. Dan Green is off tonight. We do have some new developments in the double murder that we first told you about earlier this month. Here are the pictures of 20-year-old Jack Cancola and 26-year-old Andres Garcia, both murdered on the outskirts of Greenfield. Tonight, investigators released new details on what happened the night of February 4th. Monterey County investigators say the victims were hanging out by the river, and then in what police believe was a case of mistaken identity, they started to be chased by a silver-colored silver four-door sedan with, quote, guys with guns inside. At least that's what they told 911 operators. Soon after the suspects, soon after the suspect's vehicle and the victim's truck, were found off the side of the road in a vineyard. The victims were found shot. Action News A reporter Felix Cortez is live <clears throat> with the family's plea for help to get justice. Felix? Well, Aaron, tonight, uh, members of that family grieving, trying to come to terms, deal with the senseless tragedy. And yes, they want justice. In fact, two of the brothers, uh, brothers of the two victims, were at today's press conference held here at the Monterey County Sheriff's Office. They, along with investigators, pleading with the public to come forward with any information that may help crack this case wide open. Now, the two victims we are talking about, investigators say cousins Jack Canchola and Andres Garcia were chased and then gunned down uh, execution style on a rural road outside Greenfield. The brother of one of the victims describes the pain and suffering he's going through. Every night and every morning I'm so depressed and sad because I never imagined how painful this this situation could be every time that I wake up and I don't see my brothers my brothers close outside it breaks my heart our victims Jack and Andres were doing absolutely nothing wrong what happened to them it could happen to any of us it could happen to any of our family members um, that's why it's important that we come together as a community and solve this case together Now, investigators here at the Monterey County Sheriff's Office says somebody out there in the community has seen something, heard something, knows something, and as I said, possibly even saw something. Monterey County Sheriff's investigators want to hear from anyone who may have information regarding this senseless murder, and they remind you, you can choose to remain anonymous. Reporting from outside the Monterey County Sheriff's Office, I'm Felix Cortez. Aaron, back to you in the studio. Felix, thank you. And at that news conference today, family members shared a lot about their loved ones, and we wanted to share at least a little bit with you. 26-year-old Andres Garcia was very involved in his community and in his church. He also earned his associate's degree in agriculture and was a foreman in the fields. 20-year-old Jack Cancola was described as very outgoing and made friends with just about everyone he met his brother revealing that he was a high-functioning person with autism. But he never let that stop him from doing anything he wanted to do, including his dream of becoming a diesel mechanic. Detectives emphasize that this crime could have happened to anyone. And it's a very, very tragic event um, that you know, two citizens of the county out, you know, driving around were hunted down and, and shot and killed. Detectives say someone out there has the key to this case and they urge them to come forward. They believe that it could be more than one suspect that they're looking for. Suspects used a stolen silver 2013 Kia Optima like the one that you see there on your screen. The $10,000 reward is for information leading to an arrest. If you can help, if you think you may know something, you are urged to call the sheriff's office. To view the facts in this case, a slideshow of the two men, and view the full news conference, you can go to our homepage at KSPW.com.